hopefully more people will come in as we do this. That's fine, because if you are watching the live or going to come back and watch the replay, don't worry. It's here forever and ever and ever. So let's get started. Hi, I'm Julina from Work It Gives. I'm Badass of Art. And tonight is a Fake It With Me. It's Friday, so you know what that means. It's a Fake It With Me, where I come on just about every Friday night. I missed last Friday because I was traveling. But I come on every Friday to do a Fake It With Me or a Fix It Friday. So here I am. We are going to make some delicious blah, 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 blah. <laughs> if you guys watch my tutorials and know how I always put the bloopers at the end, it's and then I like look exhausted, it's because I've been up all night. <laughs> and then sometimes I can't even speak. But we're making um, some cupcakes. I came up with this recipe today. I was inspired by, um, you know those Bailey um, Irish cupcakes that they make? So I'm calling this an Irish pint. Right? You like that, right? Irish pint. And I kind of like just finagled my way through this. And you guys know I don't do recipes. I only do like box mix and if I doctor it up. So I actually doctored up a box mix today. And it's mainly, I would say, 55, 60% like other ingredients. The only thing we're going to be using is the pre-made box mix here. So that's the only thing we're gonna be using. Other than that, everything else is like ingredients. And I'm excited because this is already smelling good because what I'm smelling is this whiskey um, cream. It smells so good, so good, so good. Just, just the, every, it's just delicious. I've never had um, like Bailey's Irish cream before, like the drink, I've never had it. And today was my first time, but I'm not even using Bailey's. This is called Ryan, little this is called Ryan's, and it's an Irish liqueur also, and it has whiskey in it, and it's so freaking delicious. So good. So good. I'm excited for it. You love my shirt? Thank you. I love my shirt, too. I, I love it so much. All right, so basically what we're going to do is put together these cupcakes, and then I'm going to show you guys how I made the buttercream, which it's sky for. I'm actually very proud of my buttercream. I'm very proud of these cupcakes. And then we're gonna top them off with a little chocolate ganache, a green chocolate ganache drizzle, and a cute little coin, chocolate coin. Isn't that pretty? I made these earlier. These smell good too. So I made a giant batch, and I let Kenrick take them to work with him. And I'm excited to see what everybody at his job has to say. All right, so let's get started. Let's get started. Um, and you know that the recipe will be given to you guys. Um, it will be in a link below after I finish the live. I'll add it, and it'll be in a link, so that way it'll take you guys to my Patreon where I posted the, um, the recipe and stuff. Speaking of Patreon, if you are not a Patreon of mine, you should be, because what you're going to start receiving is exclusive tutorials, and with those exclusive tutorials, you get pricing guides for anybody who's trying to run a business and they need to know how to price themselves. I give you a pricing guide based off of each cake. I also do tool lists, downloadable templates, stencils, and you get um, exclusive lives for yourself also. We'll be starting that soon, hopefully by next month. All right, so what that was, because I didn't tell you what that was. Where is it? That was a, oh, here it is. That is super moist white cake, and it is by Betty Crocker. So that's what I just poured in there, okay? Now, what I'm gonna do now is add all the other ingredients to make this be the bomb.com today. So, look, I'm like a little girl cooking shot. I have everything in my little container. All right, so what we're gonna add is, I have three eggs, right? I have a half a cup of water, a half a cup. Now, mind you, I'm not following the recipe on the back of this box mix. In this box mix. So make sure you're following the recipe I'm giving you. Three eggs, a half a cup of water. And what this powder is, is chocolate pudding. So it's a one whole pack of chocolate pudding. I'm already making a mess. A third cup of oil. Now, 
Now, I just melted this chocolate, so I want to make sure it's not too warm, so I'm going to stir it a little bit. We want to do a half a cup of melted chocolate. I don't want to add hot chocolate because the last thing I want to do is screw up my eggs. I want to have my eggs scramble and stuff, so. Yes, it is, yeah, it is so delicious. You don't understand how good it smells in this place right now. It smells so good. A little tip for you guys, if you ever want something to cool down, stir it. And it releases all the heat, and then, you know. If you don't know what Fake It With Me is, Fake It With Me is when I go live and I do something based off of not scratch. So it's maybe pre-made and we zhuzh it up a little bit, add a little something to it, right? So I always tell everybody, don't call me a and sometimes we come on here and I do stuff like tonight, these were, I already pre-made these to make sure that the recipe was good. But usually I come on and I just like wing it. Sometimes I screw up. Well, a lot of times I screw up. Because it's just an experience for all of us together. Someone said, hey, hey. I'm looking, if, I, if, I'm, if there's a delay, it's because I'm looking here for you guys to comment. Chocolate. When I, once I tasted the Irish cream, chocolate would be ten times better for this. All this chocolate in there. Okay. So now I have everything. Watch me end up having chocolate on my face through this whole thing. All right. Move all this stuff out the way. in the liquor store for a good 15 minutes just staring at like the Bailey's Irish cream and all the other Irish creams that they have on the shelf. I've never tried Bailey's Irish cream. This recipe will work with that. Use any Irish cream you want to use. But, and I'm not sponsored, hashtag I wish I was, but Ryan, Ryan's, Ryan's, I'm gonna get it together. <laughs> Ryan's Irish cream is so freaking delicious. It's just so good. It's just so good. I don't know. I'm so glad I just kind of picked it off the shelf. Not to mention, Bailey's is really expensive. It's like $20 for this size. And I'm like, nah, I'm good. This one was, I think, $10. So what this is now, so this is the Irish cream, and this is a, a cup and a cup and a third. Let me check that. It's a cup and a third. It's a cup and a fourth. One and one fourth cup of um, Irish cream, okay? So we're gonna pour that in here. My best friend, I sent her some photos and I was telling her how good they were and she was kind of getting annoyed with me because she wants some. And maybe, if I'm a good friend, maybe I'll drive to her house tomorrow and bring her some of these cupcakes after my class that I'm supposed to be going to teach tomorrow. All right, so now we're gonna mix this all together. So let me pre-warn you, okay? Earlier when I made these cupcakes, I made them with actually two cups of chocolate um, that was melted, but I wanted to make sure that it wasn't as, because the chocolate kind of made it really heavy and it kind of sunk down just a little bit, not too much. Actually, I have a cupcake to show you guys. So yeah, so, you see that sinkage right there? That sinkage happens because it wasn't dense enough because I only did two eggs and two cups of melted chocolate, right? So this time I'm doing three eggs, so this may screw up, <laughs> three eggs and one cup of chocolate. Um, 
but it melt it sunk down because of how um, heavy the chocolate was. So I'm doing one cup, but they still came out great. They still came out delicious. They're very if the the buttercream is very light and airy. It's very light and airy and very like so so good. And the cupcakes are really like gooey and to me they were really chocolatey. Kenrick, who's like a chocolate connoisseur, he said that they weren't too chocolatey. It was like just about right. But to me they were good and chocolatey and deliciousness and everything good in this world. When I make something and zhuzh it up and I love it, trust me, this recipe is the business, okay? But sometimes I'm like, I just zhuzh up a recipe, a, a box mix and it's nothing. It's just like, you know, some regular schmegler stuff. Now, I love this. Love it so much. All right, I'm gonna turn this on. We're gonna mix this and it's gonna get a little bit loud. Okay, so we're mixing that up. Can you guys hear me? Am I loud enough for you guys, or is this too loud? I bought two box mix because of you. <laughs> awesome, I can't wait to see what you actually make. Don't worry, you dead come. Oh, am I? <laughs> you hear me? Okay, perfect. So, now let me tell you guys, because my oven is over there, my stove is over there, so there's no way that I'm going to be able to show you guys how to make chocolate ganache one day. Maybe I'll film like a little tutorial for it. So I made some chocolate ganache. Now if you don't know how to make chocolate ganache, let me speed this up a little bit. Now if you don't know how to make chocolate ganache, all you have to do is is get one part chocolate, one part whipping cream, heavy whipping cream, okay? You put the heavy whipping cream in a saucepan on the stove, alrighty? Now once you put the heavy whipping cream on a saucepan on the stove and you turn it on, you have to stay there and look at that whipping cream the entire time. Do not leave it sight, don't even blink, because it will boil quickly. Now you're gonna notice that around the edges of the saucepan, there's gonna be like these little bubbles, like if there's a fish in there breathing, these little bubbles, right? Let those bubbles get to it. You take the saucepan, you just move it around a little bit so the heat can absorb all, no. So the whipping cream can absorb all that heat, right? So it can get warmer and warmer. We want this whipping cream to get super hot because it needs to melt the chocolate on its own, okay? So when you have your other half of your, whipping, uh, no, of your melted chocolate in a bowl, you pour in your hot and steamy whipping cream. Now, the stopping point for me when I steam up and warm up my whipping cream is right before it begins to have like a, something happens on the front of it where it begins like getting the skin. You wanna kind of stop that from happening. And the way you stop that from happening is keeping it moving, right? So the skin doesn't get on top of your whipping cream. Cause basically it's dairy, it's from milk. So you gotta be careful with that. You boil milk and then after a while it's not gonna be so good. But you're gonna get it super hot and then you're gonna pour it over your chocolate. I use uh, Wilton chocolate milk. I use the green one, and I only did six ounces. So six ounces of chocolate milk, and then I did a half a cup of, of whipping cream. So, and if I did 12 ounces of, ch of chocolate, then I would have done one cup of whipping cream, okay? And then um, after that, then you let it sit there for a little bit till that chocolate gets all warm, and then you start to stir it. You want to start really, really, really good to make sure any lumps are gone and your chocolate is super melted, right? If it's not melted and your whipping cream had cooled down and now your bowl's not hot anymore, just put it as a double boiler. Uh, double boiler basically means a bowl on top of boiling water and stir that until it gets nice and, um, you know, melted. And then you can put it in a little, whatever this is called. What is it called? Sauce? Sauce? squeezy bottle, sauce squeezy bottle, a squeezy bottle, we're just gonna call it a sauce squeezy bottle. And then it should be ready after a couple of minutes. So I would wait a good maybe 30 minutes because it's gonna be too runny at first, right? So chocolate ganache has stages to it. You can have chocolate ganache when it's super runny, you can get it to get even thicker where now you can use it on a cake to be like drip cake, which is what we're looking for. We're looking for that drip consistency. We're in a drip, but it won't be too runny and fall away to the bottom. And then if you let it sit even longer, it gets thicker, kind of like peanut butter. And what that, what you can do with that is it's now spreadable. You can spread that on like a cake layer, cake layer, 
or spread that on your whole cake or even frost it on your cupcakes, you can use that taco knot. And if you let it sit even longer, you'll then be able to handle it in your hand and roll them to create truffles. So just these two ingredients can make so many different types of chocolate ganache stages, right? <laughs> I don't know what it's called. The sauce squeezy bottle, squeezy bottle, it's the, I don't know. So we're just gonna call it a sauce squeezy bottle, it's holiday, you know what I'm saying? All right, mix this up a little bit more. Ready? Turn this off. Yeah. Where did that go? Get all of this off of the lips. Enough after yourself. Trust me, it helps. Or else you're just going to be sitting in a, one big giant mess all around you. And what your surface area looks like is what your brain's going to look like, which is what your product's going to look like. So make sure you always clean up after yourself. I'm just going to wipe the edges of my bowl to make sure everything's incorporated, gets to the bottom. All right, so because we added eggs, because we added the um, chocolate, because we added the chocolate pudding, this is now very thick, okay? Not as thick because I omitted half the chocolate and I added another egg, but it's thick. So you have to just make sure you get through it. Any lumps are gone. I'm like, hi sister, that's my sister everybody. Talisa says that, hi baby. What's the ratio for ganache one-on-one? -on -one? So if you're doing um, one cup of chocolate, you wanna do one cup of um, whipping cream. Or if you want it, like the way I did it, if you do six ounces of chocolate, then you do half a cup of whipping cream. If you do 12 ounces of chocolate, you do one cup of whipping cream. All right, so here is our batter. You see how thick that is? It smells. Ooh, it smelled like so creamy, like a cloud. And then that after was that whisk, whiskiness that was just like, up my nose and I, oh God, it's so good. And I'm not even a whiskey drinker, but child, let me tell you. Tonight, we got to get down. I got just enough left. I got just enough left for a drink before I go to sleep tonight. All right, well, no, I can't drink. I got a little work. I have a class tomorrow. Fine, I'll drink it tomorrow after my class. Shoot, I gotta make sure I wake up on time. All right, so now I'm gonna put stuff in a cupcake pan. You know how this works. Let me go grab the cupcake pan. Alrighty. This, I don't make cupcakes. Okay? Um, I don't. I, 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 if I do, it's, per, it's really just for tutorial purposes. But So I threw away all my pans. I gave them all away. And then my best friend stopped baking, so then she gave me all her pans. <laughs> so I just ended up with more pans after I get rid of mine. But here is a cupcake liner pan, and here's some cupcake liners, black, my favorite color. And I'm using an ice cream scoop. Now, they don't really make them like this anymore. They don't really make them like this anymore for you to be able to buy in the store, so I would advise you to go online and search for this, unless I find like an Amazon link I can hook you guys up with. But this ice cream scoop has been with me for 14 years. And it is the bomb. I found it in Ross. But now they don't even sell them like this anymore. It's the best ice cream scoop ever. Best. This pan is heavy. This pan is huge. <laughs> it's giant for no reason. Because I don't even make cupcakes like this. I don't even need this. If I could have a little one that has like six, I'd be fine. Yes, white ganache is two part white chocolate and one part cream. I'm just reading somebody's comment. 
Okay, so because these are so thick also, they're gonna rise super high. So you don't need to fill these up a third of a cup away. A third of a cup is, let me give you guys an example, because sometimes people don't know off the cup what, are, what measurements are. All right, so if this was one whole cup, right, for example, if this was one whole cup, and this is half, that's half a cup, a third of a cup would be just above half, all right? Now, if I wanted to do a half, that'd be half. If I wanted to do a fourth of a cup, it would be a little bit lower. No, excuse me, a third of a cup would be under a half. It's smaller, obviously. Okay, but you want to fill it up at least Am I still frozen? Let's see how that works out. Hopefully I'm not still frozen. Okay, it's back. Woo, good. I'm just sitting here jibber jabbering away. I didn't even realize it was cutting off on me. So I fill these up a half. I know, I don't know what happened. Hopefully it doesn't keep doing that. All right, so these are filled up a half. This recipe, this is what, 24? That's 16. So this is 24, right? But this can make probably about 30, 34 cupcakes. No, what am I talking about? It definitely can make like 40, because it's 24, 40. It definitely can make about 40, 48 cupcakes if you fill it up a half. Because I have, I have so much batter still left in here. So yeah, you can get a lot of cupcakes out of this. All right, so I already have my oven at 300 and I'm gonna pop these in the oven. They need to be in there for a good like 45 minutes. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop these little babies in them. I'll be back. Let me clean up, because we're gonna do some buttercream. Getting stuff out the way. Making some room. Cleaning up my area. Cool. All right. Correction, white chocolate ganache is three parts chocolate and one part cream. Okay. I never um, did anything different, LaToya, as far as like the different types of chocolate, so like white chocolate or dark chocolate. I never did anything differently. I've always kept it one and one. So I'm just gonna use the same bowl that I had already made this buttercream in. I wanted to ask you, since you make tutorials all this time, so you bake cake all the time, what do you do with all that cake? I need ideas, I can't eat every cake I make. So with the cupcakes I made earlier, I had my boyfriend take the work to give to all of his employees. Well, he had, not, not all of them, but whoever was gonna be there to his employees. Um, I also can give them to the front office because I live in an apartment building. I also can give to the front office people or your neighbors. I actually make tutorial cakes all the time and sometimes, a little secret sauce for you guys, sometimes when I do my tutorials, the cake isn't like, you know, great. It's just regular box cake, like I didn't do anything special to it, the buttercream, I didn't do anything special to it either. It's really just for maybe decorating purposes. So I normally don't even give that out to anybody because I don't want to have to use my good ingredients on a cake I'm making that nobody's going to eat. You see what I'm saying? Um, so I just then just toss the cake all the time. More so than, than I don't. So sometimes I get lucky and there's a cake that I'm really into and the kids may have some slices. But we're not very, like, we're not sweets, people. Correction. I am not, hold on, I can't really say that either. Because, so there's this thing that I do when I'm really stressed out. 
I go to the local grocery store and I buy slices of their vanilla cake and then I get an energy drink. That's my like stress out food, right? But that's only because I have to kind of keep myself awake and keep myself going. But I am not a sweet eater. I had to say that because if I didn't say that, my best friend would be like, what are you talking about? You have like three slices of cake and blah, blah, blah. So I'm not really a sweet eater. My kids, of course, would love to eat cake all the time, but I don't allow them to have a lot of sugar to really not any sugar. I like all the sugar to come naturally from like fruit or something. And my kids are hyper as it is, and I don't think they need any more sugar. So really, I'm not a sweet eater, and neither are my kids. My man, on the other hand, will scrunch down on some real deal sugar, and it has to be dipped in chocolate and swirled in chocolate and rotated in chocolate and frosted in chocolate. Um, but I don't always make chocolate cakes, so he very rarely influences the cakes. So we just, I either toss them or I give them away to like the neighbors or the front office. I know that's the longest explanation for the most simplest question. <laughs> All right, so let's get started on buttercream. Water. So I don't know if you guys saw the live I did. You can watch the replay also where I made my black buttercream. Okay, and I've been getting great reviews on my black buttercream. I'm very excited about everybody who's been using it and making their own buttercream and making their cakes with it. Your cakes are looking gorgeous and beautiful, darling, right? So if you guys watch that black buttercream, you guys know that I started that live making the regular buttercream. So I made my regular schmegler buttercream, right, the, as a base, and then I made it into a black buttercream with that little hint of, you know, what I did to make it to the black buttercream. Now, if you go back to the base buttercream, I have that here. This is not shortening. It's I actually made my thing wipe this out and then put the shortening back in here, so that way I can have a container. Not shortening. Put the buttercream back in here, so I can have a container to hold my buttercream. So this is buttercream, okay? We got, don't look at this. This because um, we're gonna. Have, I guarantee you, there's gonna be somebody in the comments going, "That's just shortening. It's not. It's just a container that says shortening." Now it's just buttercream. So this is just my base buttercream that I already made. I would say, if you like the way that you make your buttercream, because I'm not a stickler for like, oh, you have to follow my recipe. That's not how I am. My goal is just to inspire you, right? If you're inspired by what I'm making, great. Take what I'm making and judge it up to yourself and make it the way you want to make it. And all's great with the world. But for buttercream, I know different people like different tastes and textures and tastes and textures. Lord, listen to my English. Taste and textures, and my buttercream may not be the one for them because mine is very like American. It's American crusted buttercream. Not a lot of people use this, right? Some people want to use something else. So I'm going to show you the ingredients I put in here as far as to make it the Irish pine buttercream that I'm using, and then you can just add those ingredients to your buttercream. All right. So this is my basic white buttercream, American crusted buttercream. Hold the butter. No, actually, that's right. There's butter in here. I forgot we do add butter. I never used to. So I'm going to add a little more uh, powdered sugar. Remember, guys, I when it comes to like my buttercream, I go by taste and texture, and I nail it every time. So I'm going to put a little bit of powdered sugar in here. And the reason for that is because I'm about to add some of this Irish Bailey's cream. It's not Bailey's, Jelena. It's Ryan. Ugh, poor Ryan. I can't remember his name. It's Ryan. Ryan's Irish cream. So this is just half a batch. Now, this whole thing held a whole batch, but I used half of it earlier. So this is just half a batch. So I just put, if you want measurements, because you know you guys are real bakers and I'm just a fool. Um, I would say I just threw in there maybe a little more than a third, a little under a half of powdered sugar. Yeah, that's a great measurement, Selena. Um, and then we're gonna throw in some cinnamon. You're welcome. Now, this cream is delicious and it adds so much flavor and so much beautifulness and youth and amazingness to this, right? 
But this cinnamon adds that little like, mm, that you don't know that's there. And it was like, once I had the oven, like, the buttercream is great, but there's something that was missing. So I add cinnamon. So I'm going to add some cinnamon, and that's, um, I don't know, teaspoon, two teaspoons? Yeah, like two teaspoons. If I did a whole batch, I'd probably do a tablespoon of cinnamon. All right, and the cream. Someone should, someone um, should make a candle out of this. Do they have candles like this? Someone should. I'm right, we'll pour some of this in. Look at, look how pretty that is. I don't think I'm gonna have any left for a drink, bruh. All right. And now I'm gonna let this do its magic and rotate. Oh man, I need the mixer. Okay, hold on, let me, I need the whisk. Let me go get this whisk. Look, look at me, I'm just a mess. Don't mind me, just washing dishes. Give me a second. Magic up here, okay? I'm bringing that closer, right? So y'all can see what I'm talking about. Boom. You're welcome. All right, so we're going to mix this together. Y'all see that? Y'all see that magic? Mm, only if you guys can smell this. Oh my God. Only if you guys can smell this. What I do know is I definitely need a little bit more. When you've been doing this for quite some time, sometimes you just know right off the bat by the way things sound when it's being mixed by the way things just look while it's mixing, by the way things touch and feel on your hands, you can just tell what you need to add to it. It's just eyeballing these things and now it just comes naturally for me. Cause I get asked all the time, well, you don't measure this and no, I don't measure. I just know what I know. And I, I it just comes, uh, you know, like breathing. I just know it by now. I sound so pretentious, but I'm just being honest. <laughs> Mmm, yummy, yummy. Okay, I'm gonna back y'all up because y'all up in my business, so I'm gonna back y'all up. Okay, and pull you up. Okay, boom. Alrighty. Back it up, back it up. Perfect. There we go. Okay. I gotta take all this goodness out of here. Now, something, I don't know if you guys saw it, all those little speckles from the cinnamon, right? Oh my God, it was so pretty. So pretty. Now my buttercream is from scratch, right? I don't know why I prefer to make my buttercream from scratch and I don't care if I'm using a box cake 
I think buttercream just adds so much depth and flavor and texture and love and moisture to a cake or a cupcake, right? Like a, a cake can be so delicious, but to have that buttercream on top of it or to have like a jam on top of it or something like that, I just feel like that adds that little oomph. And not to mention it's cheaper for me to make the buttercream than it is for me to just go out and get a whole tub. So it just adds that beautiful, oh, look, look how pretty that is. I, I don't know if y'all can see, I'm gonna come closer. I'm gonna come closer. I don't know if you guys can see this. Can you guys see this, what I'm doing? I need y'all to see, huh? look at that. It's fluffy. Oh, so fluffy. And the specs on this is just, look how pretty that is. Like, I don't even know if I'm on focus. I don't know. But look how pretty that is. It's just so pretty. So pretty. So we're gonna frost some cupcakes. All right, kids. Now let me check the ones in the oven. Cool. All right, the ones in the oven are rising. That's always a good sign. It gets bad if they start to sink, but you know, we gonna eat in my home anyway. All right, so let me get all this out the way. I don't need it all up in my business. This here. Okay, perfect. That out the way. Perfect. And then with this. Right? Alright, so we're gonna frost some cupcakes. Now, TV magic. I already have <laughs> buttercream in a pipe bag. You're welcome. Okay. Yeah, I just feel like the scratch buttercream is a must. Like, you know, box cake, it's really just um, all the powders that you need, you know, and it has preservatives so it can last on the shelf, but really that's all it is. It's just the powders that you need that you're already gonna add your, whatever, your flour, your um, baking soda or baking powder, you know what I mean, your salt. It's gonna have all that already in there. So I just don't like to waste time and have to measure all that if somebody has already given it to me measured. It's like perfect. And then I mentioned on the back of it, it tells you that this box mix will fill in one eight inch pan. Like, I just love that. I don't have to think too much, right? Like, I don't like that whole thinking process. I mean, don't make me sound like an idiot. I don't need to make myself sound like an idiot. I just mean, I like what I like. Whatever, I don't know if I'm making sense. So I have some cupcakes here and we gonna frost these. Because they're delicious. I gotta make sure, let me check my ganache. I don't want to screw this up. Okay. All right. So I have my buttercream already in a piping bag with a circle. And you know buttercream needs to be cutesy tootsy. So I'm going to fill in this little gap here. Excuse me. Hopefully the new cupcakes won't be like that. It's a little trick I do. That anytime if I ever bake any cupcakes and they sink down a little bit, when I have the buttercream them, I just fill them. A little piece right there. Listen, don't judge me. This is what's been working for me for 12 years. All right, so now we're gonna frost. Nice little circle. And don't be stingy. Oh my goodness, I can't stand when I see people bake a cupcake. I told you guys not to judge me. I'm totally judging somebody right now. When I bake cupcakes and they put that little, that's what they put on there, that little dollop. Like, if someone handed me a cupcake that looked like that, I will cuss you out. Like, well, who eating this? Who eating this? You will have to put frosting on my boo. Like, I need, I need a frosting. I need it to be a mountain. Okay. Like, I need a whole situation happening up there. So always make more than what you need. Always, so that way you can avoid having to make more in the middle of it. I'm gonna have to put some. Yes, stand me a stingy baker. Oh, here's the little squirt because I don't want to have to make more buttercream. <laughs> and if you don't, don't uh, hand that shit to me. Ain't nobody eating that. Hold on, I'm gonna try this. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. Absolutely, I totally agree. I just had this conversation with someone about the box cakes versus a scratch cake. It's all about doctoring off the box cakes. 
Just press put a cream. Bam. Drop smite. Bam. Drop smite. Oh, heal. I need a mountain of frosty. Right. I need a mountain of frosty. Okay. Pile my shit on. Don't give me. Don't give me this because I'm going to leave and talk about you. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to be like, you see Sarah? You see what she done gave me? She done gave me a whole just, she gave me bread. That's what you handed me. You handed me bread. That's what that is. That ain't no cupcake. I would fold this down, but I don't want to get buttercream all over myself. I literally said I can't stand my lady baker, and I am the epitome of lazy. Stingy. Did I say stingy? Either way, I can't stand a stingy baker. I need frosting on frosting on frosting. If somebody goes, oh, I already put enough frosting. You may have put enough. Okay. Cool. All right. So now, finish. You guys probably think I'm such a moron. These are so good looking. They're so pretty. These are so pretty. And it was so simple. It doesn't mean much, man. It just doesn't. Like these little specks of cinnamon in it. It's freaking amazing, yo. I'm doing a dance. Because I'm happy. I know. Okay. Cool. Cool. Cool, cool. Alright, so now I got my ganache. Don't fail me, ganache. Don't embarrass me in front of these people. Most of the cupcake chain bakeries I've been in is all about their buttercream. The cake part is cough, cough, dry. Right. Oh, my God. I've visited. There's so many cupcake places here in Georgia, and I've visited so many of them. And their cakes, I've only had maybe like two places where their cake can stand on its own, right? It's just perfectly amazing. Um, but really, sometimes their cakes are super dry. Like a lot of famous bakeries that we've seen on TV, um, and I've gone to their bakery, like, I mean, that's just me. Maybe somebody else feels a different way, but I'm like, yo, this cake, I need some milk. Like, I need some milk. I don't even drink milk, but I'm like, oh. like, that's how I feel. So, just, best bet is, put, put a lot of frosting on it. Shit, put a center of jelly in the middle of that milk, folks, if you have to. Dusty dry, man. Like, dusty dry. <laughs> Okay, so there's this really cute way to do this. If you want to like drizzle, you line it all up together and you just do like, you know, back and forth. So I'm just going to line these up. Oh man, I just got my whole hand in a cupcake. All right. Excuse me. First and foremost, let me check this out. Cool, we good to go. We good to go. Unique, are you dancing? I get happy when I do something good. Because sometimes shit just be going wrong. And sometimes you just gotta be like, give yourself a little pep dance. Like, hey, you did it. That's how I feel right now. Good, Unique. Yeah. Sometimes you just feel good <laughs> when you've done something good. So, boom. Look at that cupcake. But we're not done. We're going to add on a chocolate gold, golden coin. So if you guys missed my last, my hair's in my face. If you guys missed my last tutorial where I did that cute and adorable leprechaun cake, it's still in my fridge. It's so cute. I love it. Um, if you didn't see it, it's here now on my YouTube channel. You can go watch it after I get off of your live. And I did these chocolate coins. All I did was take chocolate milk and I used yellow, but I'm pretty sure you could probably use even black. Um, I wouldn't use white white chocolate milk. So black and yellow. Black and yellow, black and yellow. Pop off. I'm so funny. And then I put some gold luster in here and I shook it all up. Right? It's 
great way to make chocolate coins, so you don't have to go out and buy those chocolate coins. And I have chocolate melts in this house for days. I have a lot of green ones. I don't know what I was thinking. I bought those like at the beginning of the year. I don't know if I was thinking I was gonna do some like amazing green chocolate something, but I got a but I got a lot of chocolate melts and they're green. Whoop. Right? Can you hear that little poof when you put it on? Here. I'll show you guys. Watch. Whoop. Isn't that cute? The leprechaun cake was cute. I love that gold corn cherry. Right? Isn't that cute? Perfect. Like, I was going to actually, let me tell you guys what I was actually going to do. I was going to melt some chocolate, right? And I was going to make a stencil for everybody, for you guys to download, and do like little four leaf clovers with the chocolate, and pop those little cuties on. And I was going to do an actual chocolate, chocolate, like actual real chocolate drip, right? And then it was going to be a four leaf clover. But melting and warming stuff up in this house right now is it feasible because my microwave died a couple weeks back when I made that um, Emerald City over the rainbow cake. Yeah, and my microwave of eight, eight years decided to die on me. So yeah, I've been having to melt everything on the stove, which has been a headache. So, yeah, that's why I didn't do the board and clover. Long story short, that's why I didn't do that. <laughs> Maybe next year. So here's the cupcake. I still line, I'm still lying up right there. And I got this one that I'm going to do. I don't know why I'm talking about this. I'm just really happy about it. Nah, son, and people sell cupcakes for nothing these days. That's the leaf clover's final upgrade. Ain't that the truth? Because I would have had to sit here and just be like, okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was a lot. Okay. Now my whole hand has gone by. Oh, gotta do the noise. so simple it was super simple and they smell so good my cupcakes they look so good guys I'm like a real baker oh my god you guys have been following this journey of mine for quite some time now and I'm like a real baker like I'm doing it don't mind me I'm really <laughs> tired okay so we're just gonna put these on here for some cuteness They're perfect. These are perfect. When I say I don't make cupcakes, I don't be making cupcakes. Half the stuff I do here when I do live, I don't be really making. Like for personal reasons or for business reasons. Like if someone would order it from me. Like I don't really make them. This is all has just been like inspirational fun for me. Let's clean this up. The green stuff everywhere. So these are great cupcakes that you guys can make for this weekend, because St. Patrick's Day is this weekend, right? And if you guys are doing a bake sale or anything like that, or if you guys are gonna donate cupcakes, or do, you know, have a party of your own, because I know people like to like, you know, get loose, something happens on St. Patrick's Day that everybody just gets super drunk. So this is perfect. You luck. So like I said, what you guys can find is the link in the description below, later on this evening, where I'm going to have the whole recipe of what I created and what I use, links that you guys can find, the items that I actually use for this. Um, and also, one more thing. Make sure you guys become a patron of mine. The patron, you don't have to be $12, $5, $24, $18. $12. You don't have to put that much in. You can be as little as a dollar, and that's just showing some sort of support for what I do here as a stay-at-home mom. As a stay-at-home that I'm not home because I travel and I teach, and I do a bunch of other stuff type of mom. Yeah. So it shows that you guys support me and want to keep seeing what I'm doing here. Because without you guys, I would not be able to do this. So I just want to say a big, huge thank you. Um, February and January were very big for me on YouTube because I started progressing even more. And it's because all of you guys put up with all of my shenanigans. 
and tune in on Fridays and watch my videos on Tuesdays or whenever they get uploaded because sometimes I'm late. So yeah, but if you become a patron of mine, you get, again, exclusive tutorials, pricing guides, you get discounts on classes, you get discounts on merchandise. I hope you guys love. And you get to see all the past tutorials. So if you started being a Patreon today, you can see all the other tutorials I put on back in the day. So I appreciate you guys. And I love you guys. And if you're not following me on Instagram, make sure you do. It's at yes underscore ma'am underscore sweet. Should I eat a cupcake? I feel like I should eat a cupcake. Let me eat a cupcake. You just changed the game of gold coin and everything that goes out. My daughter is going to have some gold coins just because. Exactly. Exactly. So I'm just going to eat this cupcake right here in front of y'all. You know how people like that food porn stuff? I should just do a channel of just eating. Maybe that's what I should do on a fake it with me one day. Come on and just have like a big huge mukbang. If you don't know what a mukbang is, it's like this thing that YouTubers do where they like eat in front of a camera. I don't know why. It's weird. But maybe I should do that. Just have a bunch of different things from different bakeries and just chow down. <laughs> Bruh, the amount of stuff that goes wrong when I make it for the first time. But these, look, look how, let's talk about this for a second, okay? The circumference is perfectly round, okay? The radius is perfectly equal. I'm just saying giant words. None of this makes any sense. The buttercream, well-balanced. The right amount of slither of the green chocolate ganache. Yeah. You see that fluffiness of the buttercream? It's like clouds sitting on clouds. And then this, this gold... Right there, yeah. Makes you feel special. Makes you feel like you are somebody. And let me tell you something. You are somebody. So I'm just gonna eat this. And if this gets all in my face, it's just is what it is. My mouth is like watering. Um, my mouth. Yeah, rub it in. We can't just eat the thing. <laughs> my mouth is like I'm salivating. Okay. Get it together, Julian. I just feel like I have to do like an unboxing cupcake, right? Ooh, maybe that's what I'll do. I'll do like an unboxing cupcake and ex describe what the cupcake is. All right. You see these little speckles of cinnamon. That's a good sign. The ganache is well dried up. It's not runny. Mmm. Yeah. I can smell the melted chocolate. Definitely smell the melted chocolate in this. Yeah. I'm going to bite the cupcake first because I want to make sure that mine isn't dry. So, But I made these earlier, so God, please don't be dry. That's a good cupcake. Mm-hmm. 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 Let me tell you something. That's a good cupcake. Henrik was right. It's not too chocolatey, right? It's not like an overabundance of chocolate. It's like perfect. Kind of rests well on your tongue. You know what I'm saying? All right. Let me try some with the, the buttercream on top. Mm-hmm. What's that? Hi, Nina's Trey. Hey, Trey. What's up, boo? Um, listen, when I bit into the buttercream, something happened. It was like I was biting into air. All right? An American buttercream is normally, like, thick and heavy. This buttercream, it's, like, soft. Yeah, it's just soft. And then you get the, the dense cake. And these two flavors kind of mush together. You don't really taste that whiskey in the background, but you know it's there, right? You know it's there. And the cinnamon hits your tongue like heaven on earth. Let me tell you something. 
Let me say that one. Let me say that one. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And you know what I said earlier? She fell over. You know how I said earlier that the cupcake sunk down a little bit and it kind of crystallized at the top because of the chocolate? I like that. I like the crystallization of the chocolate. It gives it like this crunch, right? Like this surprising crunch because the cake is already like soft and gooey. It gives it a surprising crunch and I really like that because the how the buttercream is so light and airy, it needed something to go crunch down into, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm, I'm about to eat this whole thing. This, I'm, that's what I'm about to do. Like, look, look how, look at that buttercream, right? I mean, if y'all don't try this, if y'all don't make this, y'all missing out. Mm, mm-hmm. I know. You guys are just watching me eat a cupcake now. That's how freaking delicious this is. But I'm going to let you guys go. I appreciate y'all. Don't forget what I said about the Patreon. And, um, yeah. Bye. I'll, I'll let you guys get a zoom in on the, on the cupcakes here. Put this one down. And I'll zoom in so you guys can see it close up. Look at those. So cute. All right, guys. You guys have a good night. Talk to you later.